Hi and welcome to how to install AdSense in your WordPress blog. The easiest way is to go to plugins and click add new on the left sidebar and then up in the search box type in AdSense here and hit enter. Now there's lots of AdSense plugins here. Uh, this one looks decent but I haven't used that one. I usually use this one. This is the official AdSense plugin written by Google. You can see Google's name here. Uh, and it has a lot of downloads. A lot of people use this one. That's the one that I like. So I'll click install now and hit OK. And it will install. We can click activate plugin. Now the reason this one's great is if you go, okay, so it is enabled. If you go to your dashboard, it'll put a little AdSense thing on your dashboard for you. Uh, we might have to pull it out here. Where is it? Okay. Let's see. Settings, settings, AdSense. There we go. So get started. We have to verify our AdSense plugin. Okay, so now our Webmaster Tools is linking with my actual site. So the cool thing about this plugin is you can go to this little thing down here. Uh, let's see if we can see that a little bit better. Uh, let's zoom into this. Erase. Let's see, wait, how do I zoom? You see this here? Uh, manage ads, that's what you want to click. So once you click that, it will take you to your site and you can see all of the locations that AdSense can be placed. So this is a really great feature of this tool. It will show you It'll analyze your site, but it'll show you all the places you can put AdSense. So it, it'll show you here how that one will look. It'll kind of put in a few for you. But what you want to do is you can click here to see how it will look. Oh, well, I don't want that there. That's not the right place. Okay, I don't want that there either. Uh, let's see. What about this one? Okay, that's nice. Right below the, the toolbar, right above the content. That's a good place. Uh, and then up here, it's telling me I have more than three. That's because I don't want this one here. So I don't want one in my content because I like the content to be a lot cleaner. This is in the footer. That's, I don't know if I like that one as much. Let's put one here. Uh, okay. Now see that kind of makes that look weird. So why don't we put one here? Now that looks weird too. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to put another one up here? Um, I don't know. That, that might work. We'll see. We'll have to try it and see what happens. So then you click save and activate over here on the right hand side up at the top and it will tell you, okay, we're going to put your ads there. So now you can go through in this drop down over here. You can go through in this drop down, which pages, category, single page, single post, and archive different pages that you actually want to, uh, use to put in your AdSense ads there and so you can pick which pages you want to do and then you can go to that page and it'll actually take you to that page so here's an actual page by itself like here's the comment box so this is a specific post here and then you can tell it all right i want to put this here on this post uh, maybe on this page i don't want to put that here i want to have ads smaller down below so that it doesn't block the sidebar and then i can save and activate that and it'll put that on my site on that page yeah, it's telling me the same thing. Okay, so then we can go to, okay, that's the front page again. Let's go to the, uh, let's see, it's being a little weird, uh, category page. So here's the SEO category right here. We can put an ad there. It's telling us we have too many ads. I don't want that one. And I don't want this one below the footer. Let's put it maybe in between the footer there. That'll be better. So that you can customize your ads the way you want to and put AdSense in your site that way. It makes it really, really easy. So once you're done with this, you can go to close and go to close again. Uh, and then it, it tells you, do you want to automate mobile ads? Not now. So this is the kind of AdSense plugin page. If you go to dashboard now, you should see this. If there's a problem, it'll send you to that page and pop it up, but you can go to settings, AdSense to get to that page otherwise. And then if you have problems with your AdSense ads because something is in the way or something's not showing right, it'll show you right here. And you can see right here that there are problems, and then you can click manage ads and go back to that page and move your ads around and put them where they're actually going to work the best for your site. So that's the first method of putting in AdSense. 
The second one, of course, is a bit harder. And what, what you do is you go to Appearance up here. And then here's all of our themes that we have. You can go to Editor for your current theme. And then you can actually put in ads in your theme files. So you can go to Header and you can actually put your ads in the code. It's a little bit harder to do. And if you don't know code, it's a lot harder to do. It's very complicated. Um, but that is something that you can do to get your ads put in your site is you can put them right in the code. Or you can hire someone that knows how to do that. I'm a programmer, so it's pretty easy for me to just put my own ads in the code. Like I can go find where I want to put them and where they'll where they'll show up. Using the plugins a lot easier, but um, you know I can do this too. If you need help with this, let me know. I'd love to uh, you know help you put stuff in your site um, as a service. I can do that. But um, anyway, um, yeah. So that's the second option is putting in uh, ads in your code. So either way, um, there might be more at methods out there that I haven't found yet, but if I find any more, I will let you know.